Once there were three young trees that stood high, high up on a mountain top. One day they dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars and said, Oh, I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure in all the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a mighty sailing ship, traveling the high seas and carrying powerful kings. I will be the most important ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below, where busy men and women worked in a bustling town. Not me. I don't want to leave the mountain top at all. What I want to do is grow taller and taller. I want to be known as the tallest tree in the world. And when people stop to look at me, I want them to raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. The years passed, the gentle rains came and the sun shone brightly, and the little trees grew taller and taller and taller. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain and stopped at the three trees. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. So with a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. The first tree squealed with delight. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest and I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It's perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for all the mighty kings. But the third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. And with a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought her to a carpenter shop. She could just imagine how beautiful she would be as a jewel-covered chest. But what's this? The carpenter used the tree to make what? A humble feeding trough for his animals? The once beautiful tree was not covered with any gold at all, nor beautiful stones. Instead, she was coated with sawdust and filled with scratchy hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ship was made that day. No, no. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and awed into a simple fishing boat. He was much too small and weak to sail on any mighty ocean or even a river. So instead, he was taken to a little lake. There he sat on the water's edge, lonely and defeated. The third tree was confused, for the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard among other piles of wood. What is this? The once magnificent tree wondered. What is the reason for cutting me down if I'm not even going to be made into anything useful? 
why was I cut down only to lay in this pile? Oh, all I ever wanted was to stay on the mountain top and point to God. Many days and nights passed, and the trees had nearly forgotten their dreams. But one night, the first tree, who was now a tired old feeding box, woke up from the brightness of a golden stream of starlight pouring over her. A young woman had just placed her newborn baby gently into the feeding box of hay. Her husband looked tired and whispered to his wife, I wish I could make a cradle for him. But the mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the beautiful wood. Dear husband, this manger is beautiful. And suddenly, the first tree somehow knew that even though she was but a humble feeding trough, she was still holding the greatest treasure in the world. Several years later, the second tree, who was now a well-worn fishing boat, was awakened by a tired traveler and his friends. They all climbed into the little fishing boat and rowed out into the lake. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed. But soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered, for he knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and the rain. The other men were quite fearful of the dangerous storm. But then the tired man awoke. He calmly stood up, stretched out his hand, and said one word, peace. Miraculously, the storm halted as quickly as it had begun, and suddenly the second tree knew without a doubt that even though he may not be the mighty ship he had once dreamed of becoming, he became more, now that he carried the king of both heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hand to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. had changed everything. It had made the third tree strong, and every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That, the third tree thought, was better than being the tallest tree 